Good morning. Let's change this up a little bit. 6.25, I gotta be leaving real soon here. I slept for about two hours. Poker faces in the night. I'm a man no Halloween dead cats. Hey, from poor little dead hiding ghosts. I remember Halloween. Um. Ah, Bumble Burger. What's come to love is no. I remember Halloween. What people say about this forest is that they just feel incredibly claustrophobic and they don't feel right all day yesterday my plans were to get to bed super early to take nyquil forgot to take the nyquil and i just laid awake but i was still tired all day and i just laid there awake until 3 30 in the morning and it's now i got up at six so if you want a general feeling of unease we gotta get out there we gotta leave now it's about 25 minute drive away so we'll get there just before sunrise it'll be beautiful I was gonna be on a highway for most of this. Turns out it is a drive overlooking the entire city, just like a giant cliff. I need to get out. Sure, seems as good as any of a spot. I just can't tell if there's even gonna be a sunrise really to see. If there is, I don't wanna miss it. But I also just don't think that there's gonna be one today. I'm gonna go back down. There was a much more scenic outlook. Calm down. Everything's not making noises. Just that alone is like paranormal to me. That is, that might be the most beautiful sunrise I've ever seen in my life. Shocked and amazed. Never, I've never seen the sun. You know what I mean? I've never been able to just stare directly into the sun. That's not something that you ever get to, right? You're not supposed to do that. I don't know what sort of cloud and smog I just got to look through, but I could see the sun perfectly. Oh, sh okay, well, this got kind of creepy quickly. Random. Fuck. This is the Hills Have Eyes sh This is, I think, where the GoPro comes into play. No way, that's not a road. Absolutely not. Creepy square dugout sunking in, sunken into the hole. This forest, I mean, over there where I was just driving, looks horrifying. Lots of trash. Good. Panties on a branch. Always a good sign. Yo. I know blood is a perfectly expected thing to find on panties, but there's a certain element to bloody panties hanging on a tree.
What am I doing? It's that feeling of like, of being watched. There's a constant feeling of being watched. You feel like you hear somebody behind you. Definitely something coming up the road. I don't know if it's cows or a dog. Creepy spot. I think that's the road I'm supposed to be on right there. That's inside the tree line. Oh, that's a dog and he's mad. Yeah, I have to go into that creepy road. And this dog is barking. See him? He's right there. I think there's just three big ass dogs. Horrifying. I don't know that I could fight off three hungry wolf dog things. They gotta be like shepherd dogs, right? They can't be like, dude, they're all the same though. Hellhounds. Okay, well, this is the green pasture that I was walking on very enjoyably. And this is the forest path that I'm meant to be on. Holy shit. So where we're going to, it's something rotunda. It's a circle essentially where nothing grows. Vast forest, and it's just a circle. And people are saying that that's where, you know, the UFOs landed or there's something underground there or whatever, but it doesn't let things grow. Fears, what are my real fears? Uh, being lost for one, getting actually seriously lost which is why i'm sticking to roads for the most part until i can't anymore i know that the sun is that way so that when i'm walking back it should be on my right hand side you know walking forward my real fear i'm gonna be honest with you is seeing something anything i just got goosebumps you know there are birds and squirrels but it doesn't matter when you hear drop behind you in a forest it's creepy i just got severe goosebumps <sighs> just even thinking about it watching this footage later and seeing something that i didn't see in real life that's what would drive my mind wild saw this and i was like is that a coffin it's definitely a box spring and a mattress but i saw all the fibers and the threads and <laughs> oh spider web Okay, no, it's creepy. I feel like every noise I make is gonna make something come running at me. Like a, like a quiet place. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's about it. I think we're done. And who knows, I still have to get back to the car. It might be 2023 right now. I might be missing for five years. Let's go. I was gonna look for blood capsules. Yeah, everything's fine. Look away and then like come back and be like, whoa! <laughs> I'm sweating. Forest it was beautiful. Creepiness factor, it was up there, especially if you read up. I do see how creepy it is and how just out in the middle of nowhere it can be. My experience is it is beautiful. This was a wonderful morning. Really great views of the city. 
highly recommend coming out here. If a tour guide is your thing, then get a tour guide. Who am I to judge? I don't know, do you? Solo walk, it's also very fun. You can drive pretty damn close. It was a, you know, like I said, 35 minute walk. I made it into two hours because I'm filming every single thing along the way and putting stuff down and, you know, making a big hullabaloo. But some car drove way farther back than I did. So there's a way to get back there. Perfect way to spend Halloween morning. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, this has been so much fun to keep you guys along on my journey. Hit the like button down below on Facebook or on YouTube. Give me the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't over on YouTube at bit.ly slash unguided or just search for Unguided Nations on YouTube. I'm the only channel. And you can see all of my awesome travel photos I post at least once a day on Instagram at Unguided Nations. Share it with someone who might also enjoy these videos. Traveling, it's a very lonely job. So feel free to say, hey, stay safe, have fun, go give out candy to a bunch of kids, dress up, do whatever you want, you guys. I hope you have a really great happy Halloween. Have a great night, and I will see you in a few days. Thank you.